So next I want to talk about pelvic congestion syndrome. That's a clinical condition in women where there are basically varicose veins in the pelvis. Men have a similar type of problem called a varicocele, but of course women don't have scrotum so they don't have that condition, but instead the abnormal gonadal vein, which arises in the body from the renal vein, is defective and so when a patient stands up, the vein valves, which are normally present in the gonadal vein, are not functioning properly and so blood flows down the gonadal vein and fills varicose veins in the pelvis. Now this is hard to diagnose because you can't see the varicose veins like you can in say a leg or in a varicose in a man because they're hidden inside the pelvis. And you have to have a very high clinical suspicion that this could be the problem. Women complain of symptoms like heaviness, pain, unexplained pain in their abdomen, particularly towards the end of the day. And they've usually undergone a lot of other tests and nobody's been able to figure out what the problem is. The way we diagnose this is we do something called gonadal venography. So we advance a little catheter through the bloodstream into the gonadal vein and inject some x-ray dye and take pictures. And normally the blood does not flow down towards the pelvis, but in someone with this condition the blood flows past the broken veins and fills the varicose veins in the pelvis. The treatment is fairly straightforward. We close off the vein or we embolize it shut by deploying small coils that stay in there forever and get incorporated into the vein and help close it off. And we also inject some medication, a sclerosant called sotradecol. And then the, the varicose veins in the pelvis basically shut down and decompress and the women's symptoms improve.